In this two-part screencast, we're going to look at using Xerti Online Toolkits with Moodle. In part two, we'll look at exporting and importing as normal ZIP or as SCORM and the pros and cons of each. And we'll also look at the authentication method. There's a Moodle patch available and embedding the Xerti Online Toolkits interface. Okay, if we switch back to our Xerti installation again, to export the learning object, we need to select the learning object and select properties, and then select the export tab. Now what we're going to quickly do is export a copy as an all zip and a copy as a, a SCORM export. So we'll save um, these files to our desktop. And we'll just rename this one as we um, before we save it as SCORM. Okay, so switch back to our Moodle course as usual, turn editing back on. So the first version of this we're going to do is importing. So select link to a file or website example of an imported learning object. So this is where we can choose or upload a file. And the first thing we're going to do here is make a folder. We'll just call this normal. So this is the folder where we're going to extract the the normal export, the non-SCORM export. So we select upload a file and browse to our non-SCORM zip file. Okay, so now we have our zip file uploaded, we can select unzip and it's going to extract all the files and folders from the learning object we can scroll down and select OK. So what we've done just to recap is uploaded a zip into a folder and then unzipped um, that zip file. So here we can see we have a file called index.htm which we're going to choose and Basically, Moodle will put the the path to that file in the location. So that's the file we're now going to link to. We'll leave the window as same window. And a little tip here, um, certainly with uh, the version of Moodle I'm using, I've had problems selecting yes without a frame. Um, so I'm going to select yes with a frame. Uh, with the imported learning object. That may be um, peculiar to this installation, but certainly this works for, for me. So going to save and return to the course. We'll turn editing off and browse down and select our example of an imported learning object. And you can see, similar to um, the linked and embedded version, it's now appearing within our Moodle course. It's filling the window because we've got it set to um, fill window, but we could change that back to default size if we wanted to, or constrain the proportions by selecting full screen. Okay, so that's how you link to uh, an imported zip that isn't a SCORM zip. So I'm going to turn editing on and we'll come on to the pros and cons of each of these methods um, shortly. But 
first thing we're going to do now is import our SCORM zip in a similar way. Now you don't select the same option to link to a file or website. What you do is select the activity menu and SCORM stroke AICC. So here we're going to say example of imported SCORM. Okay, so here we choose or upload the file. And we don't need a folder this time. We're just going to upload the file into the directory because on this occasion the Moodle is going to take the care of um, unzipping the file. So we'll browse down, select our SCORM zip, select open and upload this file. Okay, so uh, SCORM zip is uploaded. Instead of unzip here, all we're going to do is select choose. We can scroll down and see all these SCORM related settings. Now here's the key point. The only page type in Xerti that at the moment will make any SCORM calls and um, track any scores is the quiz. And in fact, you can only have one quiz page within your learning object or only one quiz um, tracked so it will be either the first quiz or the last quiz um, but effectively you can't have multiple quizzes in your learning object and it is only the quiz interaction the quiz page type that's tracked the learning object we're uploading here doesn't have any quiz interactions at all so there really isn't any value in exporting and importing as a SCORM object. Certainly there's considerations for exporting and importing a learning object into a course, particularly if you want to keep the course self-contained um, and possibly use it on a Moodle on a stick that, without uh, internet access. But with SCORM there really isn't many advantages at all as far as I can see. And if you really do want to export and import as a SCORM zip, what I would suggest is that you keep that exclusively for the quiz learning objects. So create quiz learning objects separately and import those as a SCORM objects and take advantage of the quiz tracking that goes into the gradebook. So in this example, we can ignore all of these other options really and just select save and return to course. OK, we didn't put a description in here, so we'll just put example of imported SCORM demo and save and return to course. OK, once again, we'll turn editing off. And if we scroll down, we can select our imported SCORM. As we discussed, there's no tree because it's just a single learning object. And if we view the learning object, it appears in a frame window, although that you can override that so that it will pop up in a new window. And all we have is a single link here. The navigation is all built into the learning object. So just to recap on that, it would be worth importing Xerti learning objects as a SCORM if you have a quiz in your learning object and you want to track that quiz, but you need to enable that tracking within the quiz page type and you can only really track one quiz with per learning object and really the recommendation is to keep those as separate learning objects. and. And to be honest, if you really want to do quizzes, I would link from your Xerti learning object to a Moodle quiz rather than trying to create the quiz in Xerti. Although obviously you can, I would suggest keeping those separate and just importing those as school. OK, if we go back to our course, turn editing back on. And the last thing we was going to do was to demonstrate how you can potentially embed the Xerti Online Toolkits interface. 
So if I'm going to select compose a web page and I'm going to say access Xerti Online Toolkits here. If we scroll down to our uh, web page and switch like we did before to HTML view, I'm going to paste some iframe code, but instead of the iframe containing a Xerti learning object, it's iframe code that's going to contain a link to our Xerti Online Toolkits installation. So I'm just going to copy this from clipboard. I'm going to change the code here to embed my own installation of Xerti Toolkits. Click save and return to the course. Turn editing off. And if we scroll down and select the link, we'll be automatically authenticated to my installation and I see my workspace and my learning objects um, from my own installation. So using the Moodle patch to use Moodle authentication means that you can embed Xerti Online Toolkits as an iframe within a Moodle course or perhaps from a link from your Moodle installation homepage and it can appear as though it's an integrated tool within Moodle itself. To demonstrate the way that the Moodle patch works, I'm going to close the browser window altogether and start up a new browser window. I'm going to go to the address of my Xerti toolkits. And what you see is that I'm prompted to log in to Moodle. So I'm going to log in and the minute I log in, I'm instantly redirected back to my toolkits installation. So this is the way the authentication works. And if you have um, single sign-on to your Moodle, it should effectively just allow you to see your workspace and your learning objects without having to log in at all. In this two-part screencast, we looked at using Xerti Online Toolkits with Moodle. In part two, we looked at exporting as normal zip or as SCORM zips. We discussed the fact that it's only the quiz page that um, has any kind of SCORM calls at all. So the recommendation is to keep quizzes as separate learning objects and link between those and just embed the SCORM quizzes rather than more complex learning objects. We had a quick look at the authentication method via a Moodle patch and also embedding the Xerti Online Toolkits interface. So integrated into a web page inside Moodle. I'm Ron Mitchell, this has been Quick and Dirty Xerti.